Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of uh, Unique Items. Uh, if you can't tell by the uh, the very rather unique item that's on the screen right now, uh, we are going to be going over the Ravenclaw Longbow. Now the Ravenclaw Longbow is one of those very interesting bows which is very, very good at a low level, and it can actually be fairly decent at a mid-level as well, although it does tend to peter off toward the end game. Um, one of the main reasons why this bow is so good is because of the fact that it fires explosive arrows. And we'll go over that as, uh, as, as we continue. Now the Ravenclaw bow does have a very pretty uh, red sort of, uh, uh, of a graphic to it, as you can see on my character. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty obvious that it is, a, uh, it, is, it is the Ravenclaw when you have it on. Um, the Ravenclaw has uh, not really the greatest damage in the world at 5 to 17, which, you know, isn't really its strength. The physical damage is not really why you, why you come to this bow. Uh, we also have a dexterity requirement of 19 and a strength requirement of 22, which are both extremely low and definitely usable by just about any character at level 15. Um, we also have a, uh, a relatively fast attack speed, uh, although it does not have any increase to attack speed, so do keep that in mind. Uh, we also have a 70% enhanced damage on it, uh, which is responsible for the uh, the 5 to 17, but it does vary by 10%, so 60 to 70%. Uh, we have 50% bonus to attack rating, which is a rather large bonus to attack rating, um, just just in general. Um, let me put some arrows on this uh, on this curl so that we can actually see the attack rating. And uh, there we go. So we have uh, 5,510. And let's go to another bow that doesn't have increased attack rating. Um, so here we have Witch Wand String, which is 4,855. So you can see quite a nice bonus to our attack rating just by simply having this bow on. Um, it also gives us a uh, plus 3 strength and a plus 3 dexterity. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what's so special about this bow? Well, it does have an effect called fires, explosive arrows, or bolts. And uh, when you go out into, say, the Blood Moor or whatever, and you fire an arrow, um, if it is a regular non-skill arrow, the non-skill arrow will convert into an exploding arrow. Um, and if that exploding arrow comes into contact with a monster, uh, the exploding arrow will, of course, dish out some nice uh, fire damage. Now, how much fire damage is it dishing out? Well, the answer to that question is actually a little complicated. And, uh, and it comes down to some very interesting effects. And, of course, I picked Hell Difficulty while all the monsters are immune to fire, but at least I'm doing a little bit of damage. <laughs> Not bad for a, a normal difficulty bow in Hell Difficulty. Uh, but I do have uh, quite a few external sources of, uh, of damage running, so we'll keep that in mind. Uh, now, the fire's explosive bolts it varies depending on the bow. So every single bow that has this effect has a different level of exploding arrow um, depending on the bow itself. Um, so this particular one, if you actually go and you take a look on uh, any, any kind of website which lists this, it will tell you that it is level 3. Um, so level 3 exploding arrow... Um, has a damage of 12 to 16 fire damage um, and an attack rating bonus of 38%. Uh, this means that when you fire a regular arrow, not only are you getting the 50% attack rating bonus on Ravenclaw, but you're also getting the 38% attack rating bonus on the explosive arrow skill. Um, it is also adding 12 to 16 fire damage to your attack. Now at level 15, 12 to 16 fire damage is actually not bad since you're getting it for free. The additional attack rating bonus on both the bow and the skill are actually very nice, but that's not the secret to this bow. So the secret to this bow is actually the, uh, the, what is the secret to the skill. So the fire's explosive uh, arrow skill, the actual exploding, exploding arrow skill, which is a skill on Amazon. If you take a look on the bow and crossbow tree, it's right here. Um, the actual skill has an interesting effect that does not... Um, how do I put this? It is not apparent. It, it is not something that you are going to know unless somebody tells you. Um, so basically how this works is any fire damage that you have. Um, so for instance, let's say you had a 26 to 42 damage uh, fire small charm. Um, any fire damage that you have from any source will be added to the exploding arrows fire damage explosion. 
So exploding arrow has a radius of three yards when it hits a target and it explodes. Um, and if you can add fire damage to this, you can essentially beef up the exploding arrow to the point where it will do massive amounts of damage, especially at lower levels. So if you were to put on any piece of equipment that has fire damage on it, any charm that has fire damage on it, and even if you were to enchant yourself uh, with, say, something like a demon limb or a lava gout gauntlets, um, you would get the fire damage added to that. Um, and what people will do with Ravenclaw is you put Ravenclaw on, doesn't matter what character you are, you can be a barbarian, a sorceress, a necromancer, a paladin, it does not matter. You put it on, and you go into a game with an enchant sorceress, a really high-level enchant sorceress, and you have this really high-level enchant sorceress, sorceress enchant you. Um, and what happens is, is the explosion on Ravenclaw will soak up all that nice fire damage from enchant, and when you, you fire the Ravenclaw bow, the explosion will be the exact amount of damage uh, of the enchant plus whatever fire damage sources you have and it will be massive um, a max level enchant sorceress can give you something like I think it's like 4,000 damage on an enchant so you're talking about a level 15 character running around with a 4,000 damage explosion which will kill everything within three yards and uh, and it is absolutely amazing now the Ravenclaw can be upgraded um, it also can be socketed. So uh, if you were to socket it, uh, probably what I would put in this is a shale rune, just, just right off the top of my head, because uh, uh, it's not a very fast bow. And uh, to utilize that explosion quicker, uh, a shale rune would probably be your best bet. Since you're relying mainly on elemental damage in general um, with this bow, I really wouldn't be too worried about the physical aspect of it. Uh, there's no mana cost to the skill, because when you fire the regular arrows, it's just a just a regular shot. Um, so firing faster is certainly going to help you kill quicker when you have these massive damage explosions. Now, you don't necessarily need a high-level sorceress to enchant you to get a good effect off of this. Um, I would um, even say that you could get relatively good effect with this with just collecting, like, fire damage charms. Uh, collect as many fire damage charms as you can. Um, put any equipment on that gives fire damage. Um, you know, just any kind of incoming fire damage that you can get on any piece of equipment that you have uh, will boost this up. Um, you could even put a Ral Rune, for instance, in here, which has fire damage on it. And uh, the Ral Rune would also beef up the fire damage of the bow, because it would add 5 to 30 fire damage um, to the Ravenclaw, making it have an even greater explosion, which is pretty darn sweet. So what we're going to explore next is we're going to explore upgrading this. Um, we're going to upgrade it one tier, and then we're going to upgrade it a second tier. Um, now, unfortunately, um, bows do not come ethereal, and they do not have durability. So we cannot find an ethereal version of this to, to Zod. Um, so when it comes to bows, you won't ever see me have an ethereal one in my inventory, because they don't exist. Um, now, I'm pretty sure for this one, it is a Ral and a Soul Rune, which I'm fairly certain that I have. Usually a bunch of these just laying around. Um, and then it is going to be a perfect emerald, I'm pretty sure. So, Ral, Soul, Perfect Emerald. And we're going to go from 5 to 17, 19 dex, 22 strength, with a level of 19, because I put the uh, the Ral rune in there. But the level requirement on this is actually 15, uh, which is going to go to a uh, Ravenclaw Cedar Bow, uh, 17 to 49. 49 dex, 53 strength, and level 28 requirement. And as you can see, it gained a, uh, a very interesting graphic there because the cedar bow has the uh, almost like the Native American uh, sort of like feathers and the wrapping around it, which is pretty darn cool. So now we have changed from the uh, from the regular graphic to the one with uh, the feathers. Uh, and um, this has made the bow actually pretty good. Um, and you can actually use this for quite some time. Um, and... and <laughs> Honestly, as a exploding arrow Amazon, um, you could use this for quite a while. And believe it or not, the um, exploding arrow that's on the Kuko, or the, sorry, the Kuko, because <laughs> the Kuko is another bow that has exploding arrow. That's why I was thinking of that. The uh, that's on the Ravenclaw can also benefit from the um, synergy bonus of fire arrow. So if you have a level 20 fire arrow, you will get the, um, the very nice 12% damage per level from fire arrow added to this, which is very nice. And... Um, 
And if you're running with an enchant sorceress, uh, this will still come in handy. It goes relatively fast. Um, I would recommend putting a shale rune in it instead of a rowl rune because it would give you probably give you a little bit better uh, use out of that. Um, if you wanted to keep the Raven Claw on level, though, like say for instance you just wanted to keep it as a normal difficulty item, and you wanted to make sure that it stayed at a level 15, I would recommend putting in a flawless. Um, <laughs> I don't have one sitting around. A flawless ruby. Uh, not a flawless sapphire, a flawless ruby. Flawless rubies are level 15. It's the same level, so you would get a nice fire damage bonus um, added to the Raven Claw, and it would keep it on level, which would help um, enhance the uh, the fire damage explosions. Um, now let's upgrade this a third time, because why not? So a uh, pull and a lum rune, I believe, is what we need, and another perfect emerald. Bink, bink, bink. Nice. And uh, so we're going to take the bow. We're going to put it in here one more time. And it, it, I think it's going to lose the graphic because the special graphic, I think, is only for nightmare bows. Um, so the Ravenclaw Cedar Bow is going to go from 17 to 49. 49 dex, 53 strength, and level 28. To uh, the Ravenclaw Shadow Bow, which is now 25 to 100. A very nice increase in the physical damage. Uh, dexterity requirement of 188, which is ginormous. Uh, it's actually pretty ridiculous, and not a lot of characters are probably going to be able to use that. Um, 52 strength requirement and a level requirement of 59. Uh, and especially at level 59, 188 strength requirement is just way too high. Um, granted, you could use this on a Exploding Arrow Amazon, but um, I'm going to tell you right now that um, the Kuko is probably the better bow if you're level 59. Uh, Kuko Shakaku. I can't even remember. I... I, I, I I always think of the freaking um, Ace Ventura movie where they were talking about the Kugo, uh, the, the special bird or whatever, and he started like hawking loogies at each other. I don't even, I don't even freaking know. Uh, if you have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the movie, then go watch the movie. That's what I got to say to you. All right, so as far as the Ravenclaw goes, um, using it in its level 15 form is absolutely amazing, and it's great for power leveling characters. Um, using it in its uh, upgraded form, its tier 2 form, its nightmare form, its elite uh, exceptional form, um, is actually pretty decent. Uh, but, however, I would not recommend upgrading it a third time, because I feel like the third upgrade just isn't really quite worth it. Um, if you were to use this on an Amazon, I would recommend um, just going with the Kuko instead. Um, if you were to use this on a non-Amazon, um, I wouldn't, because the 188 dexterity requirement on this is just way too high. And there's not a lot of characters that build 188 decks. Um, and if you are building 188 decks, it's probably to wield a shield. So, probably not a good upgrade for Tier 3. Uh, but I am going to say that it is a solid upgrade for Tier 2, uh, just simply because it's uh, it's a relatively easy to find bow. You could hold on to a level 15 version, and you could hold on to a level 28 version, and, uh, and you could utilize them both uh, at your leisure. Um, I probably wouldn't socket this, uh, just simply because I would be moving on pretty quickly. Um, you know, I might find a Ravenclaw, upgrade it from level 15 to 28 when I hit level 28, and then uh, when I get to the uh, the Kuko, I would probably switch to the Kuko from there. Um, as a like a character who's getting power leveled, uh, once I get to level 28, I would probably be more or less in my main spec. Because most characters, by the time they get to level 30, like if you're a Whirlwind Barbarian, you finally got Whirlwind. If you're a, um, you know, if you're a, um, a Freezing Arrow Amazon, you finally got Freezing Arrow. Um, if you're a Javazon, you finally got ja you know, Lightning Fury, etc., etc. So it kind of loses its usefulness at that point. And um, it's definitely nice to have a Ravenclaw around. Um, I would probably hold on to at least one Ravenclaw at level 15 and just, just keep it on your uh, your person. Um, I like to hold on to, uh, to low-level items, especially items like uh, Twitch Throw, um, Irathas, uh, and, and Ravenclaw. Uh, very, very solid uh, setups for low-level characters. Very easy ways to level up uh, and, and, and do things. And when you um, participate in a ladder... Like, I'm going to go ahead and plug my ladder video. Uh, we just did a mock ladder, which is basically where we pretend that we're in ladder. Um, but when you're on a ladder and you have nothing, and you start with absolutely nothing, um, it really makes you appreciate some of the simpler items like Ravenclaw, which can uh, can ultimately um, 
and drastically uh, change the way that you level up your character uh, and make it so, so much easier. Um, anyway, if you want to find this bow, uh, it drops pretty much everywhere in normal difficulty, uh, probably except Act 1. Uh, maybe for Mandarial, but, uh, but most likely you're going to find it in Act 2 and up in normal difficulty, and pretty much everywhere else there's a chance that it can drop. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.